fantastic. Thank you very much for giving us this interview. Now, would you like to please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, uh, my name is Khalid Ayoub. Uh, I've won four national titles. I've won a GB title. Um, and I've also represented England with the Europeans. Um, I'm originally from Bradford, um, but I'm down here now uh, in Slough. I've joined the team as in my new team that I'll be uh, training with uh, during my professional career. Uh, I've recently just turned professional around four weeks ago. Uh, and I've signed a deal with uh, MTG Global. Uh, it's one of the best management companies in the world, and I'm so glad. And I can't wait now to get started. Fantastic. And in terms of uh, uh, how old are you, if you don't uh, mind us asking? Yeah, so I've just recently turned 18 years old. Um, I've got a very long way to go, you know, during my professional career. Um, you know, a lot of people will say that turning professional young is it can be a risk, but I know that as long as I put the hard work in uh, and I've listened to my coaches and listened to the people around me. Uh, I can, I can do it. Fantastic. And uh, do you mind us asking why MTK Global? There are other management companies around. What was so special about MTK? I think the MTK is, it's a management company that actually caters for the fighter. Uh, and I think because it caters for the fighter, it can get the best treatment of the fighter, it can get the best deals, and it can also look after the fighter. And I know that because I'm so young, I need that right guidance. Um, and I know that. With MTK, I'm going to get the best fights. That was that was a very good um, good answer. In terms of uh, your fighting style, for those who have, haven't actually seen you fight before, so how would you describe your sort of boxing style? So uh, I'm a light heavyweight, um, and I'm six foot four. So to say I'm light heavyweight, I'm a tall range, orthodox fighter. Uh, but I believe that it's important, you know, to be able to fight in loads of different styles. Uh, for example, to be able to fight in close range to be able to fight long range, to be able to fight southpaw and to be able to, in that situation um, that you can adapt to any style of fire. Uh, yeah. Fantastic and in terms of your biggest strength, in terms of in strength in the ring, what would you say is like your biggest plus? I'd say that uh, a lot of people don't really focus on it but for me it's my job. Uh, it's like a jab is an old saying, right? A, a, a jab, a good jab can take you around the world, right? Exactly, yeah. And uh, a lot of people neglect it, but I feel for my style, um, it's important to make sure that people don't get into my range, um, and it's important to keep my keep my range at a long distance. Uh, what do you believe is sort of like a big difference between the amateurs and the pros, like actually turning pro? So the amateurs is obviously only three three minute rounds, uh, and I know that in the professional ranks. It's a lot more, it's slowed down uh, a lot more. You know, it can go with ranges from four to 12 rounds. And as I pick the experience up, um, I want to obviously fight in 12 round fights. Uh, and because now I feel like my, my style is more suited to, my, uh, to the professional game, I can work more behind my job, I can take my time, I can work out the fire. And uh, I feel like now in the professional ranks, I get the best out of myself. Uh, and I can't wait now to make my debut. So, like, maximize your potential like, and talent. Exactly, maximize that potential. I feel like in a free round fight as well, it's uh, you don't get the full full package. Uh, right, you can't try as many things exactly. because you're, you're constantly having to score points. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's just more about uh, cleaner shots. Whereas in this, I can show that I can fight in so many different styles. I can wait behind my job. I can wait from close range. I can attack the body, um, and I can show to the people uh, why. So like a full repertoire, full range of the, the, the skills to, to bring to the table. Yeah, and I was going to ask, like now that we've sadly been you know, faced with a global pandemic, obviously things have slowed down, including boxing, together with many other sports. And how have you sort of kept busy with the training during the, the, the lockdown? Uh, first, I'd just like to say that I'm so sorry for everyone that's uh, maybe a family member that's lost another family member. Um, but for me, it's just, it's important, you know, it's given me time to work on the things that maybe I'm not so good at. Uh, and I know that because I'm, I'm able now to uh, move down to Slav to train my new team, I'm just getting into you know kind of the baby steps um, of practicing everything, making sure that I work on everything, um, and I'm just training. You know, it's important now uh, as a professional fighter. I've got to take this. Uh, I've got to work hard, be dedicated, be disciplined, uh, and I know that now I can work on stuff. And, uh, so by the time you make your professional debut, maybe, yeah. you can sort of show off what you've been working on, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. Um, you know, I've only been down here four weeks. There's a long way to go, uh, and hopefully, 
by the time that I do find everything that I've learned down here and I've uh, adapted to the game, added to my game, uh, I'll showcase in front of her. And you have a, a sort of a good team, a good setup here as well in, in Slough in London at the moment. You've joined sort of Team Azim, so you've got uh, Hassan and Adam to also maybe train alongside with. And does that sort of help and motivate you when you're training with other like minded uh, professionals? Yes, definitely. Um, you know, I met Adam when I was 13 years old in the European Games. And since then, we've always kept a close relationship. You know, uh, we've always kept close, and even my father and Adam's father. Uh, with, they've always been uh, together, uh, communicating with one another. Uh, and now I feel like because I got the opportunity to, to join the team, I know now that with Adam and Hassan around me, it keeps me motivated, it keeps me learning new stuff. And obviously, with what they've achieved, I know now training with these kind of fighters that my game's going to come on. Uh, they can all sort of push each other. Exactly, and you can push each other. You know, it's a new style of training. But I'm adapting, I'm learning, and I feel like that's the most important thing. You've got to, you've got to take the sacrifices in the professional game. You've got to take it seriously. Yeah, it's been right, rated as one of the hardest sports to hardest. actually be in, right? Boxing, so hence it's, it's, you can't really play boxing, as they say. Exactly, it's it's not a game to be played with. You know, that's why they say that it's not a game. It's it's boxing. It's, you can get hurt. So for me, everything is serious work. Uh, even no matter what it is, whether it's boxing, whether it's strength training, whether it's running, I put my all into it uh, and I'm just listening to everyone around me. And in terms of your sort of favourite uh, experience from the amateurs, do you actually have one like one moment that you really enjoyed more than anything else? I'd say for me it's winning my first national title. Um, I feel like a lot of boxers don't are not able to even to win a national title, but to win that first one is, is a feeling that you can't replicate. Just, you can't replicate exactly. It's, you know, I feel like the one that in the equivalent in the professional game is probably a world title. Um, so once you get over that hurdle of a first national title, you obviously go on then to represent your country. It kind of gives you a wet to your palate to get more, right? Exactly, like it yeah. motivates you further. It keeps you hungry. Um, you know, obviously I've won four national titles, but nothing will equate to that first national title. And uh, in terms of uh, your style and the ring, is there any British or foreign fighter that you sort of really admired and thought, I'd love to, you know, sort of emulate that person's style or just a, you're a fan of? You know, a lot of people say that they love Lomachenko, but for me, um, it's got to be Usyk, Oliver Usyk. Oh, okay, so he's sort of he's a stable mate. Stable, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But me, he's a cruiserweight and he's just moving up too heavy, right? So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it's because uh, a lot of people look at Lomachenko and they think, wow, you know, he can he can do everything. But to have a big guy who can move exactly in the exact same way as Lomachenko to be able to create them angles, to work in combinations. Um, I think that for me, I want to replicate that kind of style to be elusive. Um, and yeah, I'm always studying fighters. I also like Tyson Fury for his how of course, he is. The, the Gypsy King himself, Gypsy right? King, yeah, for how he is in the ring. He doesn't duck a challenge. You know, he's been to Klitschko's backyard, he's been to Wilder's backyard, and he's shown him who he is. Yeah, of course, I mean, he takes on all comers, I suppose. All comers, yeah. And that's how I want to be. I want to find the best. And uh, do you believe, like Usek, one day you, you yourself maybe move, might move up to cruiserweight yourself? I think in the future. In a long, you know, long distant future. You can't, you can't really talk for the time being, but I want to just focus on the present. But in terms of your weight, light heavy, can you make that quite comfortably at the moment? Yeah, yeah. I, so it's I, not a struggle to get down to, to light heavy now? No, uh, for the time being, you know, I'm a light heavyweight boxer. But in the future, you know, there is. There is steps there to maybe to become cruiserweight and then heavyweight, but for the time being, I'm focused focus on the present. Uh, and uh, in terms of your maybe future pro debut, has there been any murmurings and to when or the venue or things like that? Or is that all still in the in the works? I don't know. Unfortunately, there hasn't been. Um, I'm just. This is why I say that it's important to keep training because you never know when the five is going to be announced. Uh, and so when that call comes, you will be sort of ready to answer the call. Yeah, definitely. You know, once once that's announced, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm already training seriously, training hard, uh, and I know that with, when that call is announced to make my debut, uh, it's going to be all all lights out. Fantastic. Great. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time and to our viewers and we look forward to seeing more of you on the channel hopefully come in the future in 2020 and you know 2021 as well hopefully once the, the pandemic has been uh, resolved and boxing is fully back yeah, yeah thank you i really appreciate it to all the viewers thank you thanks